All right, so I thought I'd go through and share uh, kind of the gear I'm taking to New Zealand here in a couple weeks. Uh, me and some friends are going on a public land do-it-yourself uh, hunt for tar, chamois, red stag, uh, fallow deer, maybe some wallabies too. All right, so I'd uh, start here with my gun. I'm going to take this SKB single gun case. It's about the smallest gun case that uh, you can make, and it just barely meets the airline... Um, minimum for excess baggage so if I went with a bigger case I have to pay an extra baggage fee. Taking my gun here it's a Savage uh, 110 in a 260 rim, uh, my wind meter and my range finder. Got my bipod on here. Uh, I have all my uh, ballistic info on a sticker here on the stock but I also have it in my cell phone and the Straylock app program. So. <clears throat> Um, Got to have a couple of uh, TSA approved locks for your gun case. Don't forget those. I'm going to take over uh, 18 Mountain House packages. Um, we're going to be over there for two weeks. We're going to go into the backcountry, probably flown in on a helicopter for six days, and then from there on out, um, probably hunting, you know, the red deer and some of the chamois and and wallaby from a rental vehicle. So. That's my uh, mo majority of my food anyways that I'm going to take uh, from the U.S. anyway. Uh, I'm going to take an extra duffel bag. This will be for trophies on the way home, hides and horns, hopefully. Um, try and go through some of the clothing first. This is just kind of a uh, Columbia uh, synthetic material uh, heavy duty coat. Uh, I'm going to take uh, two sets of uh, synthetic hunting pants, a heavier pair and a lighter pair. Those are both made by Sitka. Of course, a couple of t-shirts, underwear, and socks. A set of long johns. Um, I have our merino wool uh, mid-layer. This is from First Light. And I also have a uh, Sitka uh, lightweight jacket here as well. Um, some packable rain gear. Um, a silk scarf. I have a beanie. A set of gloves and these are the shoes I'm going to wear on the airport and also just have as camp shoes. My hunting boots are uh, these Lathrop & Son Alaska GTX's so that's all I'm taking for foot gear. Be wearing these on the plane and around the camp. I'm going to take a set of gaiters. Um, Okay, taking a sleeping bag, obviously, zero degree north face bag and a pillow. Um, the day pack I'm going to take, which is also going to be my carry on for the airlines, is this Everly Stock Gun Runner pack. Uh, I love this pack for a day pack just because it has this gun sleeve and you know you don't have to worry about slinging a gun where it's going to fall off your shoulder and stuff like that because some of the country we're going to be in for tar is going to be darn steep. So that's the day pack I'm going to take. I am going to take a set of crampons. These are the Catula crampons. Um, you know, you never know what kind of country you're getting in, going to get into chasing tar. So it could be wet grass, could be maybe even some snow, could be some rocks. Obviously, going to take a roll of toilet paper, um, a sleeping pad, one man tent. Uh, here's a small first aid kit, and in here I have a space blanket and also a, a roll of uh, vet wrap or coban just good bandage material a lightweight pair of wool gloves an algene water bottle just a cheap old orange uh, vest this is not required in new zealand to hunt um, you know and i can always shred this up and use it for flagging if i need to so i'm going to throw that in uh, leatherman Obviously, a uh, headlamp, and I also will be taking my little Browning Alpha, which I love, so I'll have two lights, an extra. Um, a pack towel. Um, I'll be taking my tripod, obviously, and my spotting scope. Uh, I'm going to take a pair of binoculars also. These are just some Alaska Guide uh, Cabela's Compacts. So I have my spotting scope and a pair of binoculars. Small roll of duct tape. Um, obviously a GPS and this is the Rhino GPS Garmin so I can keep track of my buddies also. Uh, we're all going to have one of these. 
um, <clears throat> some cord, uh, a long titanium spoon, which uh, these long spoons are really nice for eating out of those mountain house bags, a lot less messy. Uh, this is just a uh, small water bladder that I'm going to take, it's one gallon, plus my canteen. Uh, these are two uh, drum liners they're called, which are just heavy duty garbage bags. Um, you can use these for ground cloths under the tent or a tarp over the tent. You can also put them on for uh, emergency waders, which is the main reason I'm going to take them in case we need to cross some creeks and stuff like that. So um, put one on each leg and, and uh, at least cross the creeks. Even if you get a small hole in these, you can get across before they get up past your boots. Uh, I'm going to take a Havilon knife and a bunch of extra blades. It's nice and lightweight, always sharp. Uh, my video camera, obviously, which is being used, camera and extra battery. Um, you got to have your ammo in a separate and lockable case. So I just use this little dry box here. I've got my ammo in here um, with a boar snake for my gun and uh, a small gun cleaning kit in case things get wet. All right, and then this just locks. And I can put one of these uh, TSE. TSA approved padlocks on there and be legal. So uh, I'm going to take a MSR pocket rocket stove. Um, I do have to buy fuel over there because you can't take that on the airlines. So that's the stove I'm going to take. I'm going to take a power pot, which is a cool little pot, and also comes with all these charging adapters. So I can charge my cell phone and even my GPS with, it, with that. Um, coffee cup and a whole bunch of uh, Starbucks singles. Obviously some uh, portable agua tablets um, in case the water looks bad, although I've heard the water's good so that shouldn't be a concern. Obviously some wet wipes. Um, game bags. Uh, this is a, a Nightcore flashlight. We may end up doing some wallaby hunting at night, so I'm going to take that in case we get to do some of that. And a charger, um, a lens pen, sunglasses, um, obviously my cell phone, and this is going to be uh, my little paperwork bag, passport ID, credit cards, you know, import export permits, hunting permits, all that kind of stuff, hunter safety card. It's all going to be uh, photocopied and in here along with some originals and then I've also taken pictures of all that paperwork on my phone so if you happen to lose your you know uh, passport or credit cards even it's recommended that you take pictures of that stuff uh, and just leave it on your phone and then my Alaska pack frame that I, I'm gonna take and uh, not all this stuff is gonna go with me in the field some of it will be left in the rental cab, uh, rental vehicle when we're up on the mountain. Um, but anyways, that's what I'm taking. All right, uh, this is my toiletry kit. That's also going toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, uh, brush, shaving cream, razor, ibuprofen, stuff like that. Um, and quickly, I thought I'd go through some of the paperwork required uh, and, and uh, what I'm going to take as far as paperwork. Obviously, passport has to go. I'm going to take a couple credit cards, and then you have to notify your credit card companies that you are traveling abroad in advance so that your uh, purchases overseas don't get flagged. Um, take a uh, copy of a hunter education certificate, if you have one, and also a previous year's hunting license. Um, our group each purchased uh, evacuation insurance. And this is from uh, Global Rescue. It's like 159 bucks for the policy and uh, we'll pay for uh, evacuation in case you get uh, hurt on the mountain and, and need to get flown off. Uh, this is a copy of my firearms registration with the New Zealand Police, which is required. Here is photocopies of passport, ID, um, and also a hunter education certificate. Uh, hunting permits. Um, more global rescue evacuation insurance paperwork here. Obviously airline itineraries. We're flying to LAX and then um, to Auckland from uh, LAX via Air New Zealand. So these are all my plane tickets and receipts here. 
You will also need uh, some forms like your declaration of game trophy, uh, game trophies, and this is to export game from New Zealand. You will also need U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, declaration forms to import trophies into the U.S. So that's just some of the paperwork that's also required.